Alright you guys, so I have a new video for you. This video is going to be a tutorial. I decided to go ahead and start a beginner sewer series. Um, for those of you that are trying to learn how to sew, want to start your own clothing line, this will be a great series for you guys to um, sit back and watch. Um, I'm also wanting to create more videos in between my creating Melissa Cheney videos because those are spread out about a month apart. And of course, I want to show you guys more videos in between that time. I know you guys are waiting like a month to see my uh, creating Melissa Cheney episodes. And so I was like, let, you know, let me just put some videos in between that time period so you're just not sitting there waiting for me to upload a month later. Um, so this first tutorial is going to be how to thread your sewing machine. All right, so this is going to be the machine that I am going to demonstrate how to thread your uh, machine with. I've been using this machine for about almost four and a, f four and a half years, five years. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using today. All right, and so we're going to start with the thread. This is the thread that I usually use. Um, this is this brand is Dual Duty. Um, I do recommend you starting out with this, not only because it's inexpensive, but this is a really good um, thread to start with. Um, you want to start with poking both sides of your spool all the way through, and then you're going to place it on top of the spool holder on your sewing machine. Alright, so go ahead and grab the thread that is hanging there. Um, and you're going to bring that over to the left side of the machine and thread it through the metal piece on the top, the opening that looks like an L. On the Brother machine, it does have where you can put, where it shows you where to put it. Um, the little knob that I'm pointing at now, that's for actually another thing that we're going to do. But um, yes, you're going to just go ahead and bring it all the way down and thread it through the little opening, the first small skinniest opening and then these next two steps you're going to bring it up and then down all the way if you're wondering where you're looping it up and then down it is a little metal piece inside that it grabs on that the thread grabs onto all right so now you're going to bring that thread all the way down just follow the line down i'm going to just go ahead and turn on this light for you guys so you can see and so that i can see better um, there is a little another latch up on top of the up on top underneath the machine um, as you can see here that I'm pointing to and you're just actually going to bring the thread through that little crack um, and you're just sliding it right in there. All right once you get that in there you're going to go ahead and thread the needle and there is a little hole at the bottom point of the needle and you're just going to thread that through sometimes you might need to lick um with the end of the thread it might be a little bit um dull at the end so you might need to do that so this next step that you see me doing is um with the bobbin you actually are just taking some thread and you're pulling it to the side this is actually another step that i'll be showing you on the video but this is part of threading your machine all together Right, so once you get that um, bobbin threaded through its little track, you're going to pull it to the side and then you're also going to um, now bring the needle down. You're going to mess with the wheel that's actually on the back of the machine. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys that here in this video, but you just simply move the wheel itself and you're bringing the needle down to pull the bottom thread through. Once you have completed that step, both um, strings should be together. Okay, take your thread, put it on top of the thread holder, bring the thread that's hanging down into the L-shaped metal piece, bring the thread all the way down through the first um, section, bring it up to the second section, up and down, bring the thread all the way down, put it inside of the uh, little opening here at the top of the needle, uh, then you want to thread your needle through uh, with the thread, then you want to open up your bobbin section, put the bobbin up, uh, take the thread of the bobbin all the way out, uh, thread it all the way through, put the cover back on, and then you want to bring down your needle point so the needle brings back both threads up top and you want to pull both strings through the top. Alright you guys, so that was my tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you. Uh, for those of you that are beginning to um, sew on your own and learning how to sew and just trying to figure out what sewing machine that you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and recommend the Brother Machine because I've used that for about four and a half years now, probably longer than that. Um, and I love it. Um, I'm just now going to get a new machine, but it's going to be, of course, a Brother Machine. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this tutorial. Um, look out for my other tutorials that are going to be in my uh, Beginner Sewer series. Of course, check out my Creating Melissa Cheney episodes. And again, those are spread out about a month apart, so these videos will be in between that um, the Melissa, the creating, the creating Melissa Cheney episodes. So I hope you guys will tune in, subscribe, so you are updated when my videos are uploaded, and I will see you guys on my next video.